Hi, good morning everyone. I'm Miss Leslie, the Youth Services Librarian here at St. Charles Parish Library, and welcome to another Simple Science. Well, it's almost the end of summer, and I really hope that you've signed up for summer reading. If you haven't, there's still time. You can just go to myscpl.org slash summer2020 to get all of the details on our summer events and also our reading challenge where you can get some prizes and also entered into the grand prize at the end of summer. But today, we are here for science. So we're going to do an experiment to test to see whether gravity is stronger or magnets are stronger. So this is the gravity versus magnetism experiment. So let's talk about gravity. Gravity is the force that holds everything here on Earth to Earth. It's actually what holds Earth together itself. Everything gets pulled into the core, which is why we're standing here and people in Australia aren't falling off the bottom of the Earth. Everything is pulled towards the center. Gravity is also the thing that, uh, the force that keeps the moon in orbit around us and keeps us in orbit around the sun. So you would think with so many big things and forces that gravity must be a super, super strong force. Actually, gravity is rather a weak force. It's one of the weakest forces there is. And to prove that, we're going to be showing that gravity, we're going to be designing an experiment to show that gravity is actually weaker than magnetism, than magnets. So um, our little setup here today, so I have some of these little sign holders that I just turn on, the, on their edges so that you can kind of, I'm going to scoot this in front of me, which might block my face a little bit. You should be able to see what's going on a little bit better. And you don't have to use these sign holders. It's anything that, you know, kind of gives you, you know, a nice, you know, elevation here. And I have some paint stirs that taped together, uh, taped them together because you don't really want this to bend too much. And then I have some, uh, some magnets. So these are super strong magnets, but you can use whatever magnets that you might have at home. And it might actually be cool to see uh, the different strengths of the magnets that you have. So we have the two sign holders that are up like this and the paint stirs with little magnets taped to it. And I'm just going to pop this across the top to make like a little bridge try and get the magnets sort of centered right there. And then what I have here is I have a jumbo paper clip. And you don't have to use a jumbo paper clip. I just thought this would show up better on camera. And a piece of string. And then I have a regular paper clip, which I tied to the other end. We have our paper clips here, with our jumbo paper clip tied to our other paper clip. And so we're going to do our control experiment, which is the experiment where we, uh, where nothing changes. So not within the magnetic field that's happening here. So we're just going to drop the paper clip to see the effects of gravity. There we go. Kind of not a surprise there. We kind of knew what to expect. So gravity has done its job. The paper clip has now hit the table. All right. So now what happens if we put the jumbo paper clip in the magnetic field? So if we put it here. Nothing's happening, it's not rising up, so the magnetic field doesn't extend this far down. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's go to the other side. Let's go to all the way up to the top. You go, oh, there you go. The magnet is sticking to the paper clip. So the magnetic field at this point is strong enough to hold the paper clip in, face, uh, in place. So the magnetic field at this point is stronger than gravity. Very cool. Now, how can we make this even cooler? All right, so the other end, remember I had this little paper clip, and what we're going to do, we're going to put it onto the table and use the paper clip to wind the string up to see what will happen, to see when the magnetic force will stop, will uh, be weaker than gravity, and then the paper clip should fall. But let's see what happens there. So it's one little turn. And then another little turn. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, so this is pretty cool. So I'm not, all I'm done is I've twisted the, the paper clip at the bottom and the top paper clip has started to spin. So why do you think that is? Okay, so this whole paper clip is made up of, you know, metal. There's a little plastic coating around it. I just flicked it, but it, okay. But, um, What's happening is the magnetic force is acting on different parts 
of the, uh, of the paper clip, which causes it to spin until it finds its right little balance. There we go. And maybe you can see, ah, dropped. There we go, there's the end of the magnetic field. At least the magnetic field that's strong enough to counteract the force of gravity of it for this paper clip. And then if you're doing this at home, you'll be able to see that there is even a tiny gap in between the top of the paper clip and the magnets. And so I have another, I have a little ruler just to show you that how cool and awesome how strong the magnetic force is. I'm going to pass the ruler in between the paper clip and the magnets and it's still strong enough to beat gravity. Very cool indeed. So this is a very simple little experiment that you can do at home to prove that although gravity is one of the forces that holds us all in place, it is still a weak force as it is, it is weaker than magnets that you have on the fridge. All right, thank you for joining me for another Simple Science and I'll see you next week. Thank <music> you.